Hello, hello. Good evening from a random rest stop in Poland. We're currently on our way down to some Polish mountains, Zakopane, but uh, we're here because we need to do our first water stop of the trip. We need to top up our water and empty our grey water. So let's do it. Very big pressure. Oh my god. No. I don't want to get wet. I don't want to get wet. You can empty your toilet here free of charge, fill up with fresh water and empty your grey water. So we're up here and Zakopane is down here, quite close to the Slovakian border. Um, we've got about an hour's drive and we've already kind of favorited a few spots on park for night but we haven't actually chosen one. We are going to sleep. We're going to try and wake up at oh. 5 a.m. No, what? 5 a.m. Oh my god. No. Because we want to be out of the van before the sunrise. Which is? 6 a.m. Well, we'll see about that. What time actually we'll wake up? Because we'll make us at alarm for 5 a.m. and then we'll see, see what happens. Yeah, see you in the morning. Yeah, good night. Good morning. So we want to get up early before the crowds and uh, with the nice light and just hopefully get some nice views and see this place without loads of people. For breakfast we're just gonna finish our dinner from yesterday. <laughs> Christina's not normally an early bird. No, I'm not. I'm a light bird. <laughs> These look very nice, very posh. This way, love. 
<laughs> so we're going on this hike, which will take us through Zakopane, which we'll do at the end. Uh, and yeah, we don't really know. First time using this app. I don't know what it's called, I can't remember. But it shows you like the distance and elevation gain. Wow, nice. Before we uh, go on our hike, we're gonna go into church and say a quick prayer that we hope to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. <laughs> if you're watching and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. That is our target. By the end of this year, 10,000 subscribers. It would be lovely. That would so, be nice. We're currently on our way down to Turkey via Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, Hungary uh, Romania, Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Uh, so if that interests you, click that button, give us a like and we'll see you on the right. And, oh wow. Oh my god, another one. Oh shit. Look at that, look at that. Another one. There's more coming, there's more coming. <laughs> what? This. I feel it with this. Oh. Okay. I don't know how we should be so close. They're just eating some grass. That's amazing. You can see there one of the uh, ski slopes. Ski slopes. Without the snow. There's actually a cross up there. Yeah, you know what was this, that mountain with the cross? It's called Kiavant. So far this hike is very basic. Down the hill. And I'm actually kind of cold because I thought we would be a bit more... I don't know, I thought we'd be working a bit harder. But actually I'm a bit cold. You're hot. Yeah, my body is. Well, I ran then. But there will, there will be a point where we're going to climb back up. Yeah. But it's just very simple, like farmer's track. We need to warm up our old bodies, old bones, <laughs> you know, after sitting on our beds. <laughs> <laughs> is it a sheep or is it a dog? <laughs> a mixture. Get them. No, not this person, not this person. So this is Altar of Mary, very common in Poland. You can find this pretty much in every village. May is month of the Mary, so you can find people gather in front of it uh, in villages and sing songs. But now it's not maybe very common anymore. You can do that in church, but in villages you can meet. You can, you can see something like this, but not very common anymore. But now when I was a little girl, I used to do that as well, and that was fun because it was kind of like we went there with our friends and we were singing like happy song happy songs and that was a very nice time actually yeah mom tea Ooh. Oof. Team ASMR. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. The tea. We haven't been. The tea's already not that hot. Yeah. What is this? I must... My nose is running, and I don't have a free hand at the moment. So <laughs> apologies if you see. <laughs> My nose is running as well. Oh no. I also don't have your hand. 
Come say hello to us. Give us some sunshine. A lovely weather. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Hello, hello, Kapana's tile, All right. which is like wooden houses, you know, it's beautiful. This church is from 17th century, they put it between 1710 and 1720. Originally, this church was built almost two hours away from this place, from Zakopane, near Kavalia Zerbzydowska. And after the First World War, people built another church next to this one. So this one was going to waste. So in 1948, they decided to move this church to Zakopane by train and taking all of this apart and putting back together it took them two years to do that. Very beautiful painting on the ceiling, almost like in Rome. Maybe a rocky would be like that. Imagine! Are you big lucky? Are you big lucky? Okay, finally. I mean, finally. Not finally. We're going up. Finally, but, we feel like we're in the mountains. <laughs> yeah, actually, for once, we're looking forward to going up because, yeah, now we're basically taking a sharp left and we're going straight up the ski slope Great. almost. And it's good because it's cold. Because Omar didn't take his hoodie. I didn't take my hoodie and we can warm up. So, hopefully, this leads to somewhere. And hopefully, we will not meet a bear. Because I don't know if you know, I know it's surprising, but yes, in Poland, in Tatras Mountains, we have bears. And sometimes you can meet them on the, on the way, but better not to. Mm. Feel your head. My left hand. Right hand, sorry. Oh. There's more. There's, I'm a more. Tree. There's more. There's more. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Okay, we're over halfway up now. Yay! Okay, we got a little bit stuck. Uh, there's just loads of trees down. There's not really any clear uh, like trail. So we're going to go back down a little bit and then there was actually a path going along and then maybe it'll go up. It looks like we found the way up. Bit of a trail. Quite steep. Just arrived at one of the ski lifts. We're gonna have a little picnic on a ski lift. We made this morning fresh pickled onions, some tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, rice, waffle, rice, rice cakes, and mm. leftover bread, homemade bread for my mom, and cup of tea. 
Let us know in the comments if you ever had the lunch picnic on the ski lift. But not, no, 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 not during the, when you go up to the mountain to do ski, to, yeah, just like, just like that. <laughs> Finally getting some sunlight through. This is just crazy. Just all lovely wood. Actually, this one's still being built. Lots of really nice details. Wow. Let us know in the comments if you would like maybe mountain hat like this Tatra style. It's a Copana style. This part of the hike is not that interesting. We're just basically walking along a road up towards another high point, and then it's going to quite quickly descend back down to, I don't know, 750 meters or something, the, the normal level here. So we're at the famous street in Zakopane. And I want to ask you, how does it look now compared to the busy season. It's a little bit crowded now. No, come bit. on. This is nothing. Nothing. Com if you compare with, with season, yeah. high season, this is empty. Empty lot. You can buy magnets here. This is a traditional mountain y. Uh, what is it? I mean, like design. Hair tie? Oh. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, not hair tie, but design, and you, you know. Yeah. Uh, or you have like, uh, what are those? Necklaces. Mm -hmm. Like necklaces, traditional, mm, kind of traditional as well. Traditional ish. This is quite a famous viewpoint. Uh, you have Zakopane down there, and you can see the two uh, ski, ski jumps. jumps. Yeah. And Gevant Mountain. Right, we're making our way back down and then we're going to get into kind of the center of uh, Zakopane. Yeah, the center. Krupovki. Mm. Now really be careful. If you don't fancy a steep hike, you can of course Get the easy way up. Just the easy way to get people. <laughs> Nobody wave back. Did someone wave back? I'll wave now. Hey! Oh, you to me. <laughs> <laughs> the service office. The discount is granted to school age children on the basis of the student ID. Let's go to Lidl, get a few bits and bobs for our lunch and dinner. We just got some mushrooms on sale, zucchini. Uh oh, where did it go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's gravy and yeah. bread. Because we're going to have a very Polish lunch. Yes. traditional Polish potato pancakes which you can also buy here in the mountains everywhere you can see signs potato pancakes potato pancakes and today we're gonna usually I eat them with sugar because at my home we always eat like potato pancakes in a sweet version with sugar but now we're gonna add some gravy with vegetables and some protein in it so let's do it this is the worst part great potatoes Hopefully we'll have potato pancakes without blood. <laughs> From my fingers. 
potato blender. flour to make this stick all together because we're not using eggs so that is for to stick everything combine all together and some normal flour and in a second we'll add fried onion to make this amazing I should make actually first one just <laughs> to check if it's good. Ooh la la, look at this. And this is kind of goulash, which is something like gravy with vegetables and smoked tofu. And we're putting this on a pancake. Ooh. And voila! Look at that. Ready to eat. How is it? Mm. Amazing. Do you like some more salt or pepper or something? No, it's delicious. Well done. Well. Very good job. Thanks very much. We've got tofu, mushrooms, carrots, peppers, courgette, parsnip, uh, onion, garlic. I think that's it. <clears throat> yeah. Mmm. Super, super yummy. Let's sit down. Uh, as you can see, we've changed vans. We stop in vans tonight <laughs> with Mo. Yeah, he had a nice cup of hot water. Yes. That's all I could offer. <laughs> uh, and he offered us a drink, he invited us in here. Uh, he just... Uh, I actually saw him in Krakow in the same place. And we, and we followed them. Yeah, that's what I followed him. him. <laughs> and we followed him all the yeah. way to the companion. Uh, yeah, and he happened to come to the same park for night as us. And the only one, almost, in the companion. <laughs> invite us into his lovely van. Yes. So we've just been uh, chatting away for a bit. And we still don't have any plan for tomorrow. So. And Omar had me park, that was very nice. Yes, because it's very tight. But now, actually, you got space in front. Yeah. Thanks again. <laughs> and uh, let's go. Let's go to our van to plan the day for tomorrow. We kind of have a rough plan for tomorrow, but it's heavily kind of dependent on the weather, which is not looking that great. It's supposed to be raining tomorrow. But we might do some small walk to some waterfalls, but uh, yeah, we might be here for a couple of days. Uh, just sort of waiting on weather. Not really sure yet. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.